Hi, I'm Kelsey. No friendly banter with a co-anchor because I don't have one. We're a small group, so you're just stuck with me. Welcome to our first edition of Your Nightly News. Today, we'll meet some of the new faces in the hall. But first, a quick preview of fall activities. Hi, I'm Ethan with the Nightly News. Let's go take a look at some fall activities. Say. Now, Miss Bartman, um, what, who's the team captain this year? This year, the captains are my two seniors, Emma Fortner and Gwen Lohr Fundell. Do you think they're up for the task? I do. They've proven um, in the past to be very dedicated to the game. They're doing an excellent job in practice of motivating the younger uh, players, um, getting them kind of pumped up for games and uh, making them work hard. No, you say you've been working on ball control. Anything else you've been working on as a team? Um, I think uh, for varsity, especially just high energy during games, um, pursuing the ball. Uh, we're working on doing some uh, play sets to kind of, um, you know, surprise the opposition, um, and it's going well in practice, so hopefully we can incorporate that in matches soon. I'm surprised. I can't wait for a few, the few next games. This is going to be a lot of fun. Great. Well, thank you for your time, thank and you. we'll see you guys in the game. Hi, this is Ethan for the Nightly News, and I'm with Mr. Russell. Mr. Russell, what is the theme for this year's field show? Uh, this year's show is Music of the Blues Brothers. Uh, it's one that um, I actually did uh, the first year that I came to Fieldcrest, and I thought it'd be nice to uh, kind of reinvent that show and, uh, and do it again. So it brings back a lot of good memories, huh? Yes, it does. So who is this year's drum major, I sense Olivia's gone? Uh, yeah, Olivia was, uh, was a great drum major, and of course, since she graduated, I had to find somebody new. Um, tried to pick somebody that I thought would be a really good fit with the group, and I picked uh, Becca Dunning. And so far, she has just done an incredible job. That is oh. Uh, Miss Russell, I heard we weren't competing this year. Why is that? Uh, well, I, I thought it would be a good idea for us to take a year off from competition and really just focus on our fundamentals. We're uh, focused on clean marching, uh, clean playing. I made the drill easier. I made the music easier uh, just so we could kind of get a good foundation uh, just of the basic elements of what it takes to be in a marching band. And then next year I would very much love to um, bring those competitions back. Yeah. I can't wait for next year's competition, just being competition that's going to be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you, Ms. Russell, for your time, and I can't wait to get started. Cool, thanks. Hey, it's me again, and I'm with Mr. Shaneman. Mr. Shaneman, how is the team doing this year? Uh, really well so far. Um, got a big win last week against Flanagan and Cornell Woodland, uh, 165 to nothing. Got a lot of younger guys, but um, should be a really promising season this year. That's that's really cool. And how do you think the freshmen are adjusting? Uh, really well. Uh, we got a great group of freshmen. Um, we got about 20 or so out. Um, they're doing a really nice job so far on the JV. They're two and all already. So, um, you know, I think they're adjusting well to high school football. It's a big time commitment, but I think they're really starting to enjoy it now. Okay, that's great. And I heard you got new team captains this year. We do. Yeah. Um, they're Kyle Lenhausen, uh, Josh Keller. Uh, Cam Grandy and Callan Cook. Um, so three singers and one junior. Um, been doing a great job so far in leading our team and setting a good example for the rest of the guys. So I'm really happy with those guys, those, what those guys have done so far. So I, okay, thank you for your time. Thanks, Ethan. Good luck to everyone this year, including golf, cross country, cheerleaders, and palms. For the Nightly News, I'm Ethan. Volleyball is off to a great start, including second place in the Hall Tournament. Cross runners are setting all kinds of PRs, and football is 2 and one with a game tonight against Eureka. So, have you seen some new faces in the halls? So have we. School's back in the full swing of things, and I've seen a lot of unknown faces in the hallway. Yeah, I don't know any of the new kids or freshmen. Should we go meet some? Sure, let let's go. go. Hi, I'm Sam, and I'm here with the new kid, Cody. Shalom. Cody, what school did you go to before coming to Field Chris? Uh, I went to Woodland High School. And what year are you in school? I'm a senior. 
What's your favorite thing so far about Fieldcrest? Uh, probably everybody's pretty outgoing, welcoming, haven't had a whole lot of awkward moments, so it's been pretty good so far. That's good to hear. How is Fieldcrest different than your old school? It's a little bit bigger. I'm used to walking down the hallways and knowing every face I see, and now it's you know, kind of hard getting to learn everybody's names. Well, that's always good to hear. Glad to have you at our school. Thank you. So where'd you move from? I moved from Morris, Illinois. It's like an hour away from here. And how is Fieldcrest different from Morris? It's smaller. And is that good or bad? Um, I'd say it's bad because less options of people to hang out with. Like, I had a big group of friends that were kind of like me. Mm -hmm. I feel like there might not be as many people I can connect with here. I gotcha. Did you play any sports when you were in Morris or anything? I've done, I used to do dance and tap and soccer and volleyball, cheerleading, cross country, track. Did I say soccer already? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye. Ken, how does it feel to be a high schooler? Feels pretty good. A lot more uh, freedom than middle school, but it's definitely a lot different. Would you say that you've adapted well so far? I do feel like I've adapted well so far. It's great to hear. Ken, how would you say? What would you say is the biggest difference between freshman year and eighth grade? Uh, a lot more responsibility. Uh, a lot more homework. Teachers kind of let you do your own thing. It's a lot funner. Great answer. Thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Katie here with Malika from the Nightly News. How you doing, Malika? I'm doing good. That's great. So, what school did you used to go to? I went to Calvin Coolidge in Peoria. Oh, different. Are you in any activities? Yes, I'm in band and choir. Oh, what do you play in band? I play the clarinet. Do you like choir? Yeah, it's pretty fun. That's good. What are you looking forward to in the school year? Um, I'd probably have to say drama because I, I really, I really want to do drama this Anyways, year. thank you for your time. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I know. I can't believe it's been three years since we were freshmen. I know. It's really hard to believe. Well, I'm Chantel. And I'm Katie. From the Nightly News. Well, that's our show. We'll see you soon with a new edition of your Nightly News.